I've been looking all over for you. Matt Shepard and Margot Vincent are both missing. What the hell are you talking about, Trout? Matt is in Colorado hunting with Colonel Brown and a bunch of retired spec ops guys. And Margot's in Brussels at an international arms convention. Personally, I think she's got some guy over there. Matt and Margot are both in North Korea. Yeah, right. They were escorting a United Nations officer on a secret fact-finding mission to document North Korea's growing famine. Matt and Margot in North Korea, sir? Yes. Missing in North Korea. What the hell happened, sir? We don't know. Satellite sweep of the area picked up this image. This is an island, just a spit of sand seven kilometers off the North Korean shore. This is Gordon, the UN officer, dead. Now they went in just north of Oroji, slipping in from the Russian side. That's near the Chinese border too, sir. Superb. Yeah, the Russians, the Chinese and the North Koreans are all there trigger happy and hating each other. Not a spot for a Sunday stroll. Not a spot for America any day of the week. I don't have much dependable intel, but I'll arrange anything else you need. Transpo, hardware, whatever. I want our people out of there. Get in line, sir. So do we. Gentlemen, North Korea is what is euphemistically known as a politically sensitive region. I mean, we get caught the wrong side of that border, we might as well bend over and kiss it goodbye. The U.S. State Department won't even pick up the phone on that one. The hell were they doing there by themselves anyway? Yeah, so much for teamwork. Probably thought it was an easy operation. No firepower required, just take a man inside. Yep, get him killed, get yourself captured. It's always the easy ones. They get your private parts, caught in your zipper. Colorful image. Has anybody seen my cable? Yep. Heads up. Bloody fanatics. Hey, we just like a good fight, is all. service and have them send up some decent coffee.
They're a small nation. We're not fools. Look, Colonel, we're American citizens. You are prisoners of the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. Please, just listen. We're on the United Nations mission of mercy and... United Nations. Well-known spies. No. Now you call Washington or get a hold of the American Embassy in Seoul. All spies. The man that was with us, is he here? He's dead, as you will soon be. Haven't you heard of the Geneva Convention? You can't just execute us. Well, do not worry. You will have your trial. Hey! You tell somebody to give us some blankets! The North Korean border at Ajidong is 10 miles inland from the Sea of Japan. The Russians call it Peter the Great Bay. Mm-hmm. And the Chinese call it a pain in their butt. Their access to the sea stopping at the North Korean border. Things must be pretty tense in that part of the world. Three of the world's most militarized countries share the same border? I'd say it's tense. Mm -hmm. It's what we call a classic pinch point, CJ. Which makes that border impossible to cross by foot. Maybe Margot and the Major never even made it into North Korea. Yeah. Even if they did? We don't know if they're still alive. It's from Trout. Secure transmission is received from North Pak Satellite Defense Command. Damn, look at that. Time to go, boys. you everything we were helping a United Nations officer. You are spies. No, that is not true. If I say it's true, then it's true. You're psychotic. Of course. <clears throat> well, maybe that's why it's not so cold in here after all. Turn. He 
found a cable saw in the lining of your clothing. Really? Taylor of mine, some joker, huh? You will tell me the true purpose of your espionage. How about some water? If we're gonna do this, I need some water. We are recording your interrogation, Mr. Shepard. Please speak up so you can be heard. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. We aim to please. This is difficult for you. No, no problem. Just give me some water. As soon as you answer my questions. Questions? What questions? I already told you everything. You are an intelligence officer, aren't you? A spy? A spy? In this part of the world, are you crazy? There's nothing here but the border and this dump. This is a secure military installation of the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. Will you spend your life listening to the Russians and the Chinese who are listening to you? I serve my country. All information gathered here, including your confession, goes to my generals in Pyongyang. Yeah, right, your generals. I'll be sitting on their butt while you're up here freezing your tail off doing their dirty work for them. You know, come to think of it, Colonel, you and I are in the same prison. For the moment. But you will die here. So will you. It'll just take longer. I want your confession. I confess to being a spy, and your superiors are going to show their appreciation by getting you out of this frozen hell hole. My generals will reward good service. You will confess. Hey, go for it. Before we get started, you would like some water, yes? You catch on pretty quick, don't you? Here you are, Mr. Shepard. Open. Bastard. <laughs> you told me I get water! I want some water! Give him his water. This is a crack. Nothing personal, sir, but what you need to do with those orders, ASA oh, feet. Is that right? Yes, no rear echelon Pentagon suit sends my pilots on sneaking peeks over the sea of Japan. You might want to read that over again, sir. Our orders have clearance from the top. Will you top this? My planes, my crews, my authority. We're done. Let's go. A plane and a crew, sir. You need to leave. He needs to cut those flight orders. My ass. Now get him out of here. <laughs> You really should cut those flight orders. Resisting arrest, threatening an officer, I'm gonna have all your butts in the brig for life. Brig? Highly unlikely since we're not military. Hell, I'm not even a citizen. Well, who the hell are you? Just a man waiting for a plane, sir. Commander, our orders have a phone number at the bottom. It's a hotline to the White House Situation Room. Call them if you like, but don't expect much sympathy. Mr. Keever, I want the C-130 heated up on runway four. You're taking off in 10. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Confession, nothing. It doesn't matter. 
Well, they want our spies to blame for the mess this country's in. Are you okay? Those bastards didn't give me any water. I guess it doesn't matter either, though. I was wrong. Everybody doesn't come home. Don't say that. Everyone needs something to believe in. A reason to go on to do what we do. But there is a reason, Matt. You have one. Think about that. Yeah, right. Major Quentin Shepard. Hot shot jet jockey. He went up, but he never came down. Lost in the clouds. Nothing's gonna bring him home. You fight, and you come home. You always brought us home. There is a reason, man. What's your reason? Huh? What keeps you fighting? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was the look on your face when you found me in Malta. Hey, you were glad to see me. I nearly shot you. You never could hit anything when you were blushing. Was it blushing? Oh, at least not as much as some people. Or doesn't that night in Berlin count? That night I blew it. No. You were the perfect gentleman. That's what I mean. I blew it. You need more time, Margo. Just... Just keep talking to me, Matt. Size yard, son. Think you could at least put up a couple of hoops. I've always been fascinated by brave men who would rather die for their noble causes than live for them. Oh, you're a cheap date. Explain, please. Cheap date. Easy to please. No dinner in a movie for you, no, sir. You're ready to just jump right to the good part. If you mean. I approach your execution without remorse. You're sorely mistaken. I regret not learning more about you. Well, that's just too damn bad, because I've already told you everything I know. 
not too late to reconsider. One last time. Who are you? And what is your true purpose for entering North Korea? I've already told you. I'm with the United Nations. And we're certainly not here for the cuisine. We don't waste food on spies. Tell me, son. You eat any good people lately? You mock the plight of my people? I just call it like I see it. Your country's a mess. Life's a bitch, huh? And then you die. So ends the parable. Doesn't have to end like this. At least I have peace of mind. Who's it gonna be, son? The Russians? The Chinese? It's gonna be the South Koreans that finally take over this sorry excuse that you call a country. Oh, be sensible, Mr. Shepard. Your life need not be cut short like this. You mean I don't even get a blindfold? Come on, come on. What will it be, Mr. Shepard? Cooperation or death? Cooperation is death. Perhaps next time you will be willing to see my point of view. All my soldiers will have improved their aim. Getting to think, ready to look into a new line of business. Something a little more stable. Something a little less lethal. It's a 
incarceration thing is starting to get old. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I think we should both swear off captivity as a lifestyle. Cut yourself a deal. Yeah. I'm sorry about this whole thing. She is. Exactly what Trout said she'd be. I'll make it to be maybe three clicks. We circle around and approach from the north side, guys. Going in low and slow, it's about a five hour hump. Well, let's get going then. Oh, whoa, whoa, CJ, where are you going, man? Navigate with the full sun up in engine country, that's a loser's bet. There's not enough cover and concealment to get us there and back. Without some North Korean regular putting the eyeball on us, we'll sit tight until dark. really help her. You're a real hero. It's just mind games. <laughs> it's just mind games! Exciting lifestyle we've all chosen for ourselves. You get nervous? You ask me if I ever get scared? Yeah. Yep. Time or two. Especially that time in Cuba. The boy had 
that pistol up against the back of my head. That was Parker Dime. Scared? Try flying a DC-3 into the jungle treetops. We're gonna hit it! Not exactly on my list of favorite things to do on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, well, Bosnia did it for me. I was so scared I couldn't think. I couldn't move. No, I couldn't even breathe. Just alive, compadre. The way I look at it, fear keeps us at the top of our game. It keeps us from getting brave. Brave is just stupid. Yep. Fear is our friend. Love it, feel it, taste it, smell it. <sighs> you got me hot. That's the idea. Here's our mistress, boys. You love her good and hard. She just might keep you alive. If you cheat on her, you're gonna lose big time. That's for sure. Something you desire to tell me, Mr. Shepard? My name is Matthew Quentin Shepard. Until September, I was a major with the United States Army. May I please have some water? Certainly. these things? North Korea has been using foreign aid relief to feed their military to avoid a coup. 
Our generals are very loyal. They would not resort to such treachery. <sighs> Colonel, that starving man is loyal to his stomach. Go on. A full-blown famine would force your nation to invade South Korea. Famine has nothing to do with our feelings towards the South or their illegal government. threaten your neighbors, or do they cut off the aid and watch your people starve? Amigo. Does a favor and surrender before it's too late. It's already too late. Surrender doesn't factor into this. You are trapped with no means of escape. Adios, Adis. Yanda missed you. Give him the signal. Here comes our taxi. You're in league with the Russians? Makes sense to me. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. The Ruskies are giving us a lift. In return, we're giving them a high rank in North Korea. Where I come from, it's called Let's Make a Deal. And it's a party for everyone but you, Colonel. into a funeral party. One hearse, followed by another hearse, 
followed by a Doberman Pinscher, followed by a man, followed by a two-mile procession of a thousand other men. I never applied to asking the boy my dog isn't such a strange request getting low. So you heard that one. All right, all right. Guy goes into a bar with a 12-inch man and a miniature piano. What, right, you think I wish for a 12-inch pianist? So you heard that one, too. We heard them all, CJ. Heads up, boys, incoming. It's like deja vu all over again. Well done, gentlemen. Reckon that depends on your definition of success, sir. You got Margot and the Major safely home. That counts as a win. Big time. We didn't do squat for those poor folks in North Korea. Check the night's news. The North Korean government has decided to let UN observers monitor international famine relief efforts. Margot and uh, Matt have been pretty tight-lipped about all of this. Tell me, how tough was it over there? Tough enough to remind me of the three missionaries who were caught by cannibals. Not easy being a life at a party, you know. Just 72 hours to rescue a Russian spy in our Bramley FBI. An all new Soldier of Fortune Inc. Again, taxi.